Hey everyone, I'm Ralph and this is Home Culture. When Anna and I built this house, I wanted Ethernet throughout the whole home because Ethernet is faster and more reliable than Wi-Fi. But we ended up overlooking the den, the most important room that for me to have the Ethernet. And somehow we overlooked it. I don't know how, but we did. So now I'm gonna start on trying to get that Ethernet into the house. But I do have a few problems. One, the space underneath the den is finished. So it's not as easy just to go right through. The other issue is that my joists go this way, but my server and all the middle equipment is over there. So it doesn't quite work to run it straight there. One other issue is I can't just fish the line through the wall straight down because I have a steel beam underneath here supporting the wall. So luckily in the den, I have a cold air return. I can use the cold air return as a conduit so I can pass my cable through to get it into the basement where I need it. So I've got 100 feet of ethernet cable and I'll be able to fish this through the cold air return and then to get it into the basement where I need it. So, so the whole concept sounds easy, but I'm sure I'm gonna have some problems when I'm gonna be doing this. To make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna be cheating a little bit. I'm not gonna crimp wires. I hate crimping wires. So my 100 feet of ethernet cable I've got the ends already attached and my wall jack that I'm going to be installing has a coupler on the back. That way, again, I don't have to crimp wires. I can just plug everything in and make it easy for me. There's a few more tools I have to go grab and then I'll get started on this project. I'm in the basement right now and I've located the other side of the cold air return. I'm gonna cut a little access panel, that way I can fish the cable through there and get it to the other side. I created my access in the cold air return, now I just need to fish my line through there. At this point, I drilled a hole into the 2x4 on the left side to the area where I was going to install my ethernet wall plate. So I'm going to want to put this around here and I'm going to find my next stud which is 16 inches on center. So in between here, I'm going to use my laser level just to line it up and be level over here here so we can make it all look nice and pretty. I created a template for the wall plate and traced it on the wall and then using the inoscillating multi-tool I cut out the drywall and installed the wall bracket. With that done, I then pulled the ethernet cable through with fishing tape. Connected the cable to the wall plate and screwed securely onto the wall. I had a bit of a problem with hammering in a cable clip where the ethernet passed through the 2x4, so I just used a zip tie and stapled it in. In the basement, I sealed the access I created with metal HVAC tape. Then I started with pulling the cable to the server. The first part of the ethernet cable I fastened with cable clips.
to meet up with the main Ethernet bundle of the house, I switched to zip ties. I continued to follow the main Ethernet bundle to the server. I had to pull some of the vapor barrier down to pass the cable behind it, but I put it all back into place with some staples and tape. After finishing with running the cable and fixing the vapor barrier, I plugged the cable into my network switch and then headed back upstairs. Everything is done with the ethernet cable that I brought into the den. Everything's plugged into the server. The one last thing I got to do now is just plug in my ethernet cable from over there from the wall that I just did into my desktop computer. Cable's still a little messy when you look at it around the floor the way it is, but I'll go back, I'll get some cable management done, and I'll make sure it's tucked nicely around the base of the floor. So let me go ahead and see how much faster it is. In testing speeds over Wi-Fi, I averaged about 225 megabits per second downloading and 94 megabits uploading to my file server. Switching my computer to Ethernet, I'm now getting an average of about 800 megabits per second for download and 150 megabits for uploads. Well, that's another tech project finished and I'm really happy how it turned out. It's gonna make my life a whole lot easier when it comes to editing my videos because with the Ethernet, everything's much faster and more consistent than the Wi-Fi. In doing this project, it was quite easy and straightforward. I didn't have anything really difficult that happened. Didn't have to use any special tools. Everything was pretty much plug and play. The last bit that I did in my den was I did a little bit of cable management when I was running the ethernet cable back to my desktop. And well, I didn't just do the one cable, I ended up doing all the cables again for my desktop computer, which kind of took a little bit more time than I thought it would, but I'm happy with the result now. So that takes us to the end of this video. Remember, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Bye bye. Taking a picture when all I want to do is do video. Okay. Down to. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that again. Yeah. 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 So, 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 so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.